Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're rearranging uh, formulas. Um, first, we'll start with the regular solving and just, just outline the steps we would do here to solve for L. We would uh, divide by 2 pi, right? And then to get rid of the square root sign, we would square both sides. And then we would multiply by 3. So it would be 3 times 36 over pi squared is L. So that's what we would do here uh, and simplify that. But it's the same steps when we're rearranging formula as well. But there's more variables involved. So here we're going to solve for, actually let's do, start with number 2 because it looks very similar to this. Same procedure, we're going to solve for L here doing the exact same steps. So that's going to be T over... 2 squared or 2 pi equals root L over G and then we square both sides or you could have squared both sides from the beginning same thing and then one more step we multiply by G so we get L equals G T squared over 4 pi squared okay let's back it up and do number one we're solving for V V is right there, so we need to get rid of the 2 and everything else. There's a couple ways we can do it. We can expand the brackets, uh, but we don't need to. Uh, let's do it two ways. So I'm going to do it first by multiplying by 2. So we have 2s equals u plus vt. And we're solving for v, so we can divide by t. And t uh, 2s over uh, t equals u plus v. So the answer is V equals 2S over T, little t, minus U. Now if we did it the other way, or another way to do it is 2S equals, and then expand the brackets, UT plus VT. Then to solve for V, we do 2S uh, minus UT equals VT, VT. So V equals, we divide by T, and we get 2S uh, minus UT over T. Okay, so they may look a little bit different, but they're equivalent. They're exactly the same. If I divide both these terms by T, I get the one in the red right here. So sometimes the answers can look very different, but they are the same. Uh, now, gener generally with any old fractions, we want to get rid of fractions in an equation by multiplying by the common denominator. So that would be xy in this case. Let's multiply both sides by xy. And then we get xyq equals y plus x because the x's cancel here. And then when we do 1 over y times xy, we get an x. Question says solve for x. Now, when you have two... Uh, two terms with x in it, we need to get into the same side and factorize. So we have x, y, q equals, or sorry, minus x equals y, and then we can factor out the x. x equals, uh, or sorry, let's back that up. x bracket y, q minus 1 equals y. So x equals y over uh, y, q minus 1. And you would do the same thing here, get the x's on one side and factorize out the x. And this one here is also very similar, but uh, we're going to multiply both sides by x minus w. And don't forget that's in brackets. So, and we're solving for w, so I'm going to expand the brackets here and get xp minus um, wp equals 2w. We want to get our w's on one side, so xp equals 2w plus wp, and factor out the w, w, bracket 2 plus p equals xp, so w equals xp over 2 plus p. And in this last one here, it looks like some sort of volume formula. So for r, well, we got a fraction, we got one third, so I'm going to start by multiplying by 3, and then we get 3v equals pi h. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to expand the brackets, uh, but you could do it another way. Uh, yes, actually if I expand the brackets, 
I get 3 pi h squared r minus, th uh, oh, sorry, that's not a 3. So th these 3s are gone, and we just got pi h squared times h, so we have pi h cubed. And don't forget we're solving for r. We have one r there, so 3v plus pi h cubed over, and then we divide by this, 3 pi h squared equals r.